And the late national artist for theater design, Salvador Bernal, is recaptured in a retrospective exhibit at the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Pat Fernandez shows us a glimpse of Bernal's life and works in the story. Cultural Center of the Philippines pays tribute to the father of Philippine theater design, Salvador Bernal. The life and works of the late national artist for theater design are on the spotlight as CCP exhibits his significant creations in different art forms, such as ballet, opera, theater, and film during the 70s up to the time of his passing in 2011. Widely acclaimed for his intricate stage designs, Badon had given a new perspective on theater design, which he considered an active contributor to the whole production. A poet himself, Salvador Bernal, studied each and every piece carefully, and he integrated his ideas into his designs. Theater design uh, has not been fully appreciated in, in our society, no? uh, because people feel that it's just, ano lang yun, parang... Uh, subordinate to direction, subordinate to acting. But no, uh, a theater production, set and costume design can actually make or break a production. Badong had dominated the galleries of CCP with scale models of his stage designs and costumes displayed at the Buluangan Juan Luna. This is complemented by a timeline of his personal and professional life, as well as the detailed sketches of his sets and costumes at the hallway galleries. The idea uh, for theater design is that you must find a visual metaphor which will encapsulate uh, the principal theme or insight uh, into that material. Among the most anticipated in the exhibit are Badong's set designs for Florante at Laura, Bunganga ng Pating, and Pilipina Circa. Salvador Bernal Designs the Sage is open for public viewing until October 27, Tuesdays to Saturdays at the CCP. In spite of budget constraints, Badong Bernal was able to utilize local products and turn them into beautiful works of art for stage and design. Well, he is truly an inspiration for all of us. This is Pat Fernandez for Solar News.